Today we will discuss about latency. What is latent heat tensor? It is the amount of heat energy required to raise the temperature of one gram of a substance. Children, okay. when we are studying specifically, what we study it is the amount of heat required to raise the temperature of one gram of substance by one degree centigrade. I told you. I told is amount of heat required to raise the temperature of one gram of substance by one degree. But latent heat is amount of heat required to raise the temperature of just one gram of substance. Okay. So the formula is equal to Q is equal to ML. In latent heat, there will not be any change in temperature. Okay. In latent heat, there will not be any change in temperature. Then you will get the Y, sir. Why, Mr. Sir? Yeah. Nandi ka shakti amount. Why, Mr. Sir? Why, Mr. Sir? In latent heat, temperature change won't be there. Why? Because all the heat which you are supplying will be used in changing one state to another, like solid to liquid, liquid to gas. That's all. Again, I'm saying slowly, try to understand. Suppose if you keep a thermometer here. When a substance is changing from solid to liquid, all the heat which is you are supplying is used in breaking the bonds, solid to liquid. Therefore, that temperature will not be shown in the thermometer. When it is changing from liquid to gas also, all the temperature which you are supplying is used in breaking the bonds from liquid to gas. So all the temperature is used in some breaking the bonds between liquid to gas. That's why whatever heat you are supplying will not be recorded in the thermometer. Why it is not recorded in the thermometer? Because all the heat is used in breaking the bonds. All the heat is used in breaking the bonds. All the heat is used in breaking the bonds. Solids are converted into liquids. Liquids are converted into gas. Okay. That is called latent heat. Latent means hidden. What do you mean by latent? Latent means which is hiding. Who is hiding here? Temperature. Why it is hiding? We are saying because it is not recorded in the thermometer. Even though you are supplying heat, it is not recorded in the thermometer. Why? Right? Because All the heat which you are supplying is used in breaking the bond. That type of heat is called latent heat. Definition is amount of heat required to raise the temperature of one gram of substance. Amount of heat required to raise the temperature of one gram of substance. And the unit C is joule per gram. What is the unit? Joule by gram. Whether in specific heat or in latent heat, always we should take here joule by gram by degree centigrade, here only joule by grams. So finally, again I'm saying latent heat is amount of heat energy required to raise the temperature of one gram of substance. So Q is equal to ML is the formula for latent heat. And latent heat units are joule per joules per gram. Okay, children. So what is latent heat? It is hidden heat. Why it is called hidden heat? Because it is not recorded in the thermometer. Why it is not recorded in the thermometer? All the heat is used in breaking the bonds from solids to liquids, liquids to gas. Okay, China? By the specific heat will be recorded in the thermometer, but latent heat will never be recorded in the thermometer. When you draw a graph for the conversion of solid to liquid, it will be like this. One, two, three, Four, five. What is this means? It is coming to what? I said zero. I said zero to what? At zero. What? At zero to what? At hundred. What? At hundred to steam at hundred. Steam at hundred to steam beyond hundred. This is called latent heat because it is not recorded in thermometer. This is called latent heat because this is not recorded in the thermometer. What is this? This is I said zero to water at zero. This is water at hundred to steam at hundred. 
all the heat which are supplied is used in breaking the bonds from solids to liquids liquids to gas that's why it is called latent heat what do you mean by latent heat which is hidden okay one numerical find latent heat if 100 joules of energy is needed for 10 grams of substances so what is the formula l is equal to q by m 100 by 10 answer is 10 joule per gram one more question find heat for raising temperature of 100 gram of substance if latent heat is 0 0.5 joule per gram what is the formula q is equal to ml m is how much children 100 latent heat is how much 0 0.5 0 0.5 means what children 0 0.5 is 150 joules units of heat is what joules how to convert one joule into calories uh, calories to joules one calorie is equal to 4.2 joules okay one calorie is equal to 4.2 joules so what is latent heat amount of heat required to raise the temperature of one gram of substance amount of heat required to raise the temperature of one gram of substance amount of heat required to raise the temperature of one gram of substance is called latent heat Specific it is amount of heat required to raise the temperature of one gram of substance by one degree centigrade. Tomorrow we will do numericals on this lesson. So many numericals I will keep in the video of this description of this video. We will do all the numericals of this. Okay, children. Latent heat means amount of heat required to raise the temperature of one gram of substance. Specific heat means amount of heat required to raise the temperature of one gram of substance by one degree centigrade. Here, delta T will be there. Here, delta T won't be there. This is the difference. Okay, children, tomorrow we'll do numericals. All the numericals I'll give in the description. Please do it.